Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the herringbone half double crochet stitch, which is the stitch that you see right here. Uh, you can see it's quite pretty when it's worked up. It has a little bit of a different design, uh, almost works uh, on slants. Uh, instead of working straight up and down as it would with a normal half double crochet stitch. So it gives a little bit of variation to your stitch. It looks the same on the front and the back, so it's a great reversible stitch. It's fairly dense, it creates a dense fabric, which means it would be great for some household items such as dishcloths and uh, hand towels and that kind of thing. So this is the stitch design we are going to work on today. Grab a hook and some yarn and let's crochet together. So the stitch that we are going to work to get today, the herringbone half double crochet stitch, is a quite versatile stitch. You don't necessarily need a specific stitch multiple uh, in order for to start your foundation chain. You can start with any number of chains. All you need to do is add one extra chain for your foundation chain. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start by making my slip knot. And today for this tutorial, I'm simply going to chain 15. That's five, 10, 15. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to start your first row and we're going to jump right into the herringbone stitch half double crochet stitch. What you're going to do is you're going to skip the first two chains. One, two. Your chain two at the beginning will always count as a half double crochet, a herringbone half double crochet. Okay, so you will always treat it like a stitch when we come back to it. So skip those two first two stitches. You're going to start by working in your third stitch. And the first thing you're going to do is yarn over, just like you would a half double crochet stitch. And you're going to insert your hook into that next chain. You're then going to yarn over and you're going to draw up a loop under uh, that chain stitch, but you're also going to draw it under the first loop on your hook, just like that. So you will have now two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over once again, and then you're going to pull through both loops on that hook. And that is your herringbone stitch. We're going to work it across our foundation chain and then we'll turn back so you can see what it looks like when we've worked a couple of rows. I'll show it to you once again. You're going to yarn over like you would a half double crochet. Working in your next stitch, insert your hook. You're then going to yarn over and drop a loop under that uh, chain stitch and then also under that first loop on your hook. You will have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to draw through both loops. Continue down your chain, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop and also draw that loop through that first loop on your hook. You'll have two loops left on your hook, yarn over and draw through two. Continue all the way down the length of your chain or for however many stitches you would like. Always remember to, once you uh, insert your hook, yarn over, you're going to pull that loop through that chain stitch and through the first loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two more. So continue that all the way down the length of your chain. Two left here. 
my final chain and that is your first row done next for row two we're going to continue that pattern the first thing though we're going to do is we're going to start with a chain of two and remember your chain two at the beginning always counts as a stitch and you're going to turn your work because that chain two starts counts as a stitch you're going to skip your first stitch now working in the next you're going to work your next herringbone stitch yarn over insert your hook into the next one yarn over pull up a loop pull through the first loop on your hook and then yarn over and pull through two loops you're going to continue that all the way across and uh, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit and then when I come to the end I'm going to show you uh, how to work the final stitch in this row So now I'm just coming up to the final stitch in my row there and you'll remember at the beginning that you had that chain two. This is always where you're going to work your final stitch. So yarn over and in the top of your chain two, insert your hook and complete your final herringbone stitch. You must remember always to work in the top of that chain two, otherwise your work, your swatch or your project, whatever you're working on, is going to um, to have a diagonal. Your uh, edges won't be very straight. So always remember to work in that final chain two. Once you have completed that, you've come to the end of the row. You're going to chain two, turn your work, and start all over again. So congratulations, that's all there is to the herringbone half double crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Please uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with stitch tutorials such as this one and free crochet patterns. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.